Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And so today in this video, we are continuing on with the series for the suspension uh, removal and installation. And so this video in particular is going to be concentrating on the driver's side uh, removal of the suspension. I'm going to try to play around with keeping the passenger side connected on the rear and just disconnecting the driver side and then hopefully be able to install the driver side keeping the axle and everything aligned in the back end and if you happen to catch this video before I actually do the install if you think I should do otherwise let me know in the comments for sure so without further ado, as they say, let's get started. All right guys, so I got it set up here. I'm gonna start off with removing the rear shock. In order for me to do that, I'm, I went and sprayed it with PB Blaster to loosen it up. I'm using a three quarter inch on my impact and I'm using a three quarter inch open end wrench. I can use the close end as well. <clears throat> And I already used my breaker bar to just try to loosen it up a little bit. before I wedged it on. Almost there. There we go. Now it's just about releasing the top half. There we go. I had a Rancho RS 5000s. So right here, it was three quarters as well. And then it just slides off and it's only on one side. So that came out pretty easy overall. More concerned about the U-bolts in this case because these are really, really bad off here. All right, so thinking about it for a little bit, kind of made a decision for the moment that I am not going to remove my e-brake cable. Honestly, I really don't want to have to pop this off and disassemble the brake just to disconnect that cable and so decided to prop it up, the axle up so it won't fall over and put any more tension on this gonna reduce 
<sighs> I can't even speak. Eh. Uh, remove these. I might have to actually cut them because they're they're pretty nasty. <sighs> okay, so I was thinking maybe I should use the wire wheel or wire brush on this a little bit. I already sprayed these down a couple of times in expectation of it not working as planned. I have a 24 inch um, breaker bar. Hoping I don't have to cut these off. That's pretty bad. Okay, you guys don't need to watch the boring part of finalizing this, but you see the process. Breaker bar, use, if you have an impact, air impact or something, I don't have one yet. I should, but I don't. I should have it for this, <laughs> but I'm gonna finish busting through these and we'll go from there. So, I had to take a little bit of a break uh, from doing some of the recording, working on the Bronco because the tools were just not cutting it. So I decided to take the next step, reach into my pocket. <laughs> There's nothing there now. It's because I decided to buy some air tools to make this process better. <laughs> so I um, got some air tools. Just went to Harbor Freight, picked up some stuff. Um, Earthquake XT, if you're curious. And then just is just a standard uh, central pneumatic um, four inch uh, disc cutter. So anyways, <laughs> so I'm excited and uh, picked up an uh, picked up a hose. 
that allows me to retract and stuff and added a whole bunch of adapters so it quick connects and things like that. So we're good to go. I already had an air compressor. You may have seen it in past videos and I have used air compressor. I just never had actual um, air tools except for body work, which eventually we'll get around to. So I had some body work air tools like sanders and cutters and things like that, but nothing for mechanical work. So this is all new territory for me. And uh, which reminds me, I'll have to make sure I oil my tools, make sure you oil your tools. And yeah, let's get going, let's do this. So I'm gonna start off by cutting the U-bolts and um, putting this tool to use. I already cut one of them just to test it out, make sure it's gonna cut through fine. And I'll do some more with you guys. So, haha. <laughs> All right, um, next tool in hand, I'm gonna be uh, using my impact here to remove these bolts. Now keep in mind, I have already used PB Blaster on this stuff multiple times, and I was able to get it loose, and didn't want you to have to sit there while I'm sitting there cranking on it, trying to get it loose. So I was able to get it loose, and we just got a couple more bolts, and then we can pull the, the leaf spring out. So let's do it. All right, so one last thing is I have a, um, a pry bar on here on the other end. This way it holds it in place while I'm undoing this end. And uh, this is a uh, 7 8 little trick if you didn't know. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if I was gonna pull this one out. I think I'm going to just because, and this one here is um, 15 sixteenths. And then the one I use on the back side here is uh, 15 sixteenths as well. So, a couple of things. I undid this bolt here, but this bolt, um, I don't even, didn't even realize this, learn from my mistakes. This bolt can't actually eject because of the frame. There's no gapping here. So this, even though I unbolted this, it doesn't even matter. So I did this because I was hoping to make it life easier with removing the spring. But the reality is I can't do nothing about it. So, but this one here on the other hand actually goes through and there's space underneath the frame that I can do that with. So I don't really have a punch, but I'm gonna hammer this through and then use this. And if I break it, I break it, but.
one down, one to go. This one here, it, uh, socket is a three quarter, if you're interested. As you can see there, that's the old with a block, like two and a half inch block. And then with the new two and a half inch, you'll notice that this one from Tom's Bronco Parts has more springs in here and has the shackle pieces here to keep it all together compared to this over here. Old school setup. So we finished this part. And this part is gonna be part of multiple videos on this series. So if you have watched this video, don't forget to watch all the other videos as they come out. So you'll make sure to want to like and subscribe if you've liked what you've seen this video. And you'll want to uh, make sure you hit that little bell button so that as we're going through this whole suspension series, that you can uh, know when it, the next one comes out. So not to mention it helps the channel out and it helps us grow and keeps us going and makes sure we make more videos for you guys. So after you have liked and subscribed the video and you hit that bell button and we're coming to the end of this video, just wanna say thank you for watching and make sure to watch the rest of the series. It should be a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it as well as uh, my daughter and I will. Thank you.